Welcome back to Dad World, and we're here with Best Dad Ever, and he's gonna kill some zombies. Uh, unless you didn't play in Accu Reigns. Actually, really, I really like this. I think this is probably my favorite level in the game. I just, I love its aesthetic. I like the, uh, I like the, the little mini games you do in it. But the and challenge also fight zombies. Why not? The challenge is just so bullcrap, though. I swear. Okay, but okay. So is is the challenge uh, having to hit them into the? You said the challenge is hitting them into the fountain, right? Yep. Okay, because I think I do that very easily. So like, let me see. Okay, if, yeah. uh, I need I need to see what I was doing wrong if you do do it, because it's like I swear, like that middle one was the one I was having the struggle with, and I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. See, I think the the problem you were having is maybe you just weren't doing it good enough. Probably. <laughs> but also, the zombies have a gimmick where unless you cut them down, they will come back. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. You can only actually kill them. Yeah. Well, unless you get them like a finishing move, like you stab them yeah. somewhere. Like yeah, that. So I, I just kind of threw. Yeah. I just kind of throw them into the spikes, and then they get. Yeah. Like the, the middle. The bottom ones are the fine ones. It's the middle one that I had the for some reason the biggest struggle with. Ow. <laughs> Pumpkin. This one's not the one I had the most problems with. Oh. I had <laughs> problems. I forgot that too. backwards. <laughs> yeah, I just forgot about that. It's a bit of a trick shot. Just a little bit. First try. But uh, no, this introduces this. This also has one of the strongest enemies in the game. Oh yep, the Grim Reaper. Yep. Oh, right. I, I remember him. There are people who believe that it is just Jude the dude coming back to kill you. Because <laughs> he has roller skates on. Even though Jude the Dude's one of the more like uninteresting guys, he has a but fun yeah, fight I, though. Hey, okay, here yeah, he is. I love this. I love the, he has such a cool design. Because yeah, he has the same introduction as Jude. That's why some people believe that it uh, is. I, I guess that's right. Uh, I mean, he also can't... has the same intro as Shadow the Hedgehog, so he's obviously <laughs> Shadow the Hedgehog. God. This this uh, this uh, is 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 a Sega game, so no, okay. See, I just kind of threw it. I just what threw the, it, and it got what the there. flip? <laughs> see, that's why I was like, okay, this isn't hard. Okay. Something was wrong with my coffee then, because I swore I did the like 500 times and they never went in. I, I do, I do think. Oh god. Maybe I was just not in the right position. But I swear. Okay, I, maybe you just weren't doing it good enough. You didn't do it with like a smile on your face. This I'm video game runs on smiles. Just put a, just put a smile. Like, I'm pretty sure I threw, like, 50 zombies at that fountain, and neither of them went into that middle one. Oh. oh yeah, just... Whoa, just looks up, like but... it's time to speed I up! I think club. this is one of the smaller areas. No, it's, part two is smaller than this one, actually. Yeah, the part two area is way smaller. Oh, yeah, if you get grabbed by a zombie... Your angel uh... of death oh. <laughs> Your angel of death. Oh, good like after video. after you, like you uh, throw him off your body, you could actually kill him then and there. And I think he uh, yeah. he usually drops like a three pill. He, I think he, he is one of the like he he's probably one of the easier of these like recurring enemies to defeat. Yeah, like even, I think the the one in the next part, uh, which, the which you'll see, yeah, the, the the bull the bull guy, he's probably the most annoying to deal with. Yeah, because you can't kill him with your first shot. You have he will go back a third. And, and surprisingly, the, the golf club is one of the best uh, of the extra weapons that you get in this mm -hmm. game. I mean, it is Princess Peach's forward smash. Uh, you, is it only in this area? Uh, I think there. No, I think it's in one other level. But I think, but it's mainly used in this level. Yeah, because they're they're the targets, which you get a lot of points for. Mm -hmm. Which, uh, when we come to the man, uh, the the bloodbath challenge, there is one that was normally in the level. Like you're, like, you're supposed to just do it while you're just exploring the level, but I tried to get it during the Bloodbath Challenge and somehow got it. Even though it was, like, mm -hmm. way out of reach. Oh, yeah, this one also introduces, uh, Suicide Bombers, pretty much. Suicide Zombies. Yep. Which, which is that basically what a zombie already is? Just, just like, just like a very, a very slow-moving Suicide Bomber? 
Well, no, because most zombies don't blow up on your face. <laughs> yeah, well, no, I say. <laughs> no, but I just mean in the sense like there, there are people who are dead with the main purpose of killing as many people as they can before they die. Um. Hmm. Deep questions we're having. Yeah. Very deep questions. I'm actually. Have to, I actually have are, to think are, are, are the su are suicide bomb? Yeah, are suicide bombers just just live zombies? Wow. Oh, okay. How did you survive there? Because I swore. I, I yeah, pl I'm playing the game. I, I got very good at the at the shaking the nunchuck to uh, go backwards. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and there's the targets there. Hit them and you get a what? bunch of points. Yeah, I, I love I love fouring them. I just noticed that Ferris wheel is a pentagram. The what? That that wheel back there is a pentagram. I'll Ooh, have to spooky. go back and look at it. I think I'm going to turn around. I think I'm going to turn around a bit. Ah, oh, Scissorman. Yeah. Uh. Oh, these guys have a unique finisher. I forget how you're supposed. Oh, no. I thought I forget how you're supposed to activate it. But you yeah, the, the, yeah, like the more you get into the level, the more you get into the game, the harder it is to kind of activate your finisher. So you just, you, so you should just end up just killing them however you can. Yeah. Sometimes it's easy just to just to use just to use your chainsaw and just slice them up. You get get less points, but it's faster. But I know, like the the, I think I only got the scissors guy once, and you can get you can take his scissors and then chop them off. Oh, man, golf's so much fun. Man, golf, I love man, golf. Right there, that wheel is spinning. See? Yep, there it is. Since I know we're not going to get to it in this in this session, screw uh, whatever uh, the money shot. That one's the worst. Oh yeah, money sh money shot gets annoying uh, if you don't know what you're doing. I oh think yeah. It's fi uh, is that the one where you're uh, shaking? You, that, yeah, you shake the you bottles shake the and then you have to uh, help the guy to get launched. Oh, I love this finisher. <laughs> I love the <laughs> pile drive. Yeah, a lot of the fun in this game is just kind of just watch watching watching the crazy kills. Yeah. It's just fun I'm to like build up. Oh, are you gonna launch any of the guys to the moon? Uh, do I? Uh, I think I do one of them. Please, that is one of the best finishers in the game. And the fountain's still spewing blood in the background. Just <laughs> Punk ass bitch. I love this guy. <laughs> it's like between him and like all of uh, House of the Dead Overkill, it's like, man, Sega sure loved going just all out on the swearing on the Wii, huh? Th mm. These games came out within a month of each other, so it's like just, and, and and then a month. No, actually, no. This game came out, I think, either a week before or after Black Knight did. So mm, I'll check. <laughs> we. <laughs> that is five pitch voice. I notice his lip syncing is a little off. Yeah, well, it, it, it's it's a Wii, it's a Japanese Wii game. It's gonna be a... true, yeah, came, but uh, but I like to think uh, com compare what we just learned a few parts ago. Um, I like to think it was just um, the Blacker Baron just doing the ADR <laughs> for that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it came out a week. Yeah, it after. came out a week after Black Knight. Wow. Yeah, so just, Sega was just on a roll of just doing very bias. So it's like Black, I mean, like Black Knight just needed. I mean, Black Knight. I mean, you could buy Black Knight having just like a bunch. Just just add a couple bit more swearing, and uh, just, just put just put, put, put uh, have all the enemies be like bloody and all that. And uh, they're, they're perfectly fit. It'd be the perfect trilogy. Yeah. But then again, this one they were both developed by you know one was developed by Sonic Team, the other one was developed by Mad World. So the weak. <laughs> Built, developed by Mad World. By, by, I mean, by Mad World. By plan, though. I'm sorry. Mad World created it by itself. It was born oh, yeah. from nothingness and shell. One of them was planned. Then, you had planned. Yeah, and then we... over, yeah, and then Overkill was Headstrong Game. So it's like, yeah, Sega doesn't. Sega doesn't. Uh, div, they, like they, they don't. They don't. They're, they're just the publisher. But still, it's just yeah. they publish them all at the same time. I can't wait for. Is, let me check. Never mind. No, I was gonna say I can't wait for like the new Sonic game to come out the same week of Persona 5 Royale. <laughs> Please, I don't need another March release. <laughs> no, 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 you fool! You forgot that Sega doesn't release Sonic games anymore. Right. 
Remember back then when people were like, oh, there's too many Sonic games out, and now people's complaining that there's too little Sonic games coming out? Uh, they used to release them yearly, and now they're just taking like three year pauses in between them. Well, I mean, that's. I, but I assume that would be better because, again. I, I assume. Mean, you, you assume you assume we'd be better, but then Sonic Forces. Yeah, Sonic yeah. Forces left a bit of a dry spell for people. But with Sonic, Sonic Forces, Forces is weird made me because stop they stop being a Sonic fan. That's they, how they, good it is. <laughs> <laughs> they said Sonic Forces took like three years to develop. Yeah, uh, probably because again they were trying to make it. I think I. They they are making a new engine. They spent two years on a new engine and spent well, one year on the actual game. Well, they, and they, then, they, like, yeah, they, they pro yeah, they spent they spent three years working on the project, but in terms of the game that we saw, it was probably like they probably like uh, erased. They probably restarted and erased a lot from eleven like, months on the actual game, uh, one month on the story. Yeah. I mean, it also says a lot when they're like, "Oh, are we doing more Mania? Uh, I don't know." Um, yeah. they, I mean, it, it would be it would make us a lot of money and be cheaper to do produce, but uh, I don't know. We, that's why that's yeah. why Sega becomes like more. We don't like Americans. That's why or in order Australians to, also. That's why to recoup the co uh, losses from Sonic Lost World, they they had to get they had to get Atlas, so they get all the money from Persona Five. Yeah, Persona Five and Yakuza are Sega's money makers now. Just 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 keep. I, I like. Out. Hey, hey I don't like, forget <laughs> Sakura Wars. Us. Well, has that and, and Poyo po and Poyo Poyo. Poyo Poyo. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, Best wee! finisher. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you just leave him on the blue. And it stays there for the entire game. Uh, yes, the match. stage. Yeah, it does. I love it. Uh, but no, I was going to say, it's kind of sad when you think about it because it's like Persona 5 is a game, yet Yakuza is an entire franchise, and yet it's like when Persona 5 can make as much as an entire franchise. I mean, Yakuza's I mean, yeah, picking. Yeah, no people picking are Yaku mad, but <laughs> no people are mad. But, but but I love me some Persona Five, so keep on coming. Keep, keep I, on coming. I'll I, take them. I used to like Persona Five, and then Twitter happened. People just. Well, I, mean, I mean, Twitter ruins everything, so it's like I don't completely. Uh, yeah. Also, Yakuza's getting up there in popu popularity, so. Well, y y y Yakuza is Sega's most. Pro I mean. In terms of like just, I mean, because Sonic it will still always just have that mass franchise appeal. But other than that, I mean, Yakuza is say, I mean, there's a reason why during their like restructuring everything, Yakuza got their prime like like the the Yakuza branch like went up to their kind of like primary branch, and then yeah. Sonic was uh, relegated to the uh, Sega of America. Would you say that the main like the would you say that it was uh, Yakuza Six or Yakuza uh, Zero that kind of brought in the Yakuza franchise? Oh, definitely Zero, because yeah, Zero so, was... Yeah. Uh, having I'll, a game that people can start with was yeah. the best decision ever, because uh, there's people who they see that, like, the game is, like, on 5 or 6, and they're like, I can't get started with this. And But if they saw... When they saw Zero and they were told, like, no, it's a good place to start, they're like, okay, let's give this a try. And plus, it helps Zero was the one that people say is, like, one of the best entries yeah, I'm actually currently playing Zero right now, and I'm having so much fun with it. Uh, okay. Zero, and then also making the remakes of one and two. That that helped greatly. Yeah. Having that come out right afterwards. Yeah, and I've I mean, seen how one and two are. Those are very. Yeah. But I think at this point, and like, now they're all on PS4. Like from zero to seven, it's gonna be because they released the remakes oh, of uh, I, three, four, and five. So now you'll be able to, when the PS5 comes around, play all of them on one system. Oh, still, this boss. I've heard so many bad things about this boss. I finally I fought him, and I had no trouble with him. Yeah, I, I remember back in the early days of YouTube uh, when people like did talk about like this game. They're like, "Oh, th this is one of the hardest bosses on like on the Wii." And I played it. I'm like, eh, "It's it's fine. I mean, it's about it's about as hard as all the other bosses." Yeah, like the main. I, I just love like the design. It's just a bunch of werewolves just kind of rolling together in a circle yeah. like a wheel. Like really, a the, the the hardest part about this boss fight is just the fact that the main leader, the one you're supposed to kill, runs away. But there's not yeah, like you have to chase him. But he's not like hard to say. Like he's one of the easiest, like just to fight against. But he just keeps running away, which is a problem. And holy crap, he never did this wheel move more than one time for me. Yeah, no, he he keeps doing it so many times. Well, because I think it's like every time you break the wheel, then he goes up and uh, re like reforms it. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, he for me he was mostly just running away, but I had to torch and golf club for the entire match, so 
he stood no chance against me. Really, if I we're gonna talk about if we're gonna talk about bad bosses, either the next one, uh, the next area's boss fight, or the final uh, world four boss fight, like the yeah, one, one before one the, the final, final boss. boss. Yeah, we, we are one of the ones in the final world. They're probably the most annoying. Like the penultimate boss is honestly more annoying than this. Mm -hmm. And but that's only because again, when when you get to him, you'll like it's so easy to see why. I don't want to spoil it. So he says not to eat the raw meat, but I honestly feel like Jack's the type of guy to take his, uh, you know, steak tartars, if you know what I'm saying. Jack's the kind of guy who would, like... I'm pretty sure Jack would eat, like, the flesh of the shaman. Just to show uh, that's, that's, let's, let's not go that far. He still has class. No, Jack uh, is someone who doesn't need to eat. Just yeah, like, that's he, actually he, true. He, 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 he can just think about eating, and then it'll be like, my, my hunger is satisfied. No, 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 he just eats onions. Because that <laughs> I is... Also just re I also just realized that that, uh, that that Steve Bloom is fighting a guy with uh, with, ve with very sharp uh, claws. Yes, mm -hmm. a, a saber wolf, if you will. I like that game. It's pretty underrated. Yeah, but this... Uh, are you you're gonna switch back to the golf club? Honestly, the torch kind of destroys this boss because it leaves him yeah, with quite a bit of hits done. Also, I, yeah, when I fought him, I had torch too. Cause it made sense. <laughs> what what else would you attack a wolf man with? I don't know the spear, <laughs> gun, bullets. No, I mean, that's but Jack doesn't put permians. <laughs> oh, I forget he does that. <laughs> like honestly, Jack could just put a blanket over this dude's head, and he probably wouldn't know where he is anymore. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, Jack is someone he, he he's not he's not averse with uh, like he, he he isn't against guns. He uses guns several times. It's just yeah, why why can't you just use guns? He think he has more fun with chainsaw. He think it'd be in a bit of bad taste after uh, you know reading old Yeller. <laughs> also, chainsaw. Why, why would you need anything more than chainsaw? Uh, I, I'm, I'm kind of reminded of uh, 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 My Hero Academia is that uh, in in this world of all these really crazy, uh, super powerful quirks, and still one of the most uh, powerful things in the world is just, is a gun. Like, still just using a gun for many situations is the most powerful thing you can use. So it's like, Rem guns are always useful, except when they aren't. Uh, Remember, anything made in Japan, guns and drugs are the worst things humanly possible. <laughs> you know, I don't think I've ever seen- no, I don't- I never got this clash, actually. <laughs> he just keeps sending them, and it's like, nope. Oh, he got oh, you that time. Up. What? I mean, oh, I mean no. it, it worked that time. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, it looks like he he's like uh, eventually working, and then oh yeah, look, they actually did work. I mean, dude, just 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 like how there's infinite, just like how there's infinite ninjas, there's infinite wolves. Steph, I would have laughed so hard if there was fall damage and you killed yourself by jumping off that <laughs> ledge. Actually, yeah. No, but I think in the I think in like one of the later areas because they they bring back the zombies for a bit. They do legit explain the reasons why, like, oh, for the zombies it makes sense why there's unlimited because oh people. wow, oh that was unfair. Yeah, that. I don't they know spawn why. you right next to them. The good, the good thing at least is that uh, if you die, you don't lose any point. Like you only, like if if you lose all your lives and you have a game over and you have to restart the whole level, but if you die, you don't lose any points. Or yeah. Anything, so or it doesn't that, reset the level. Also, there's health right, right there this whole time, and you keep ignoring it. I don't know. I, I can't. I can't see. I can't see. Did you, did you see how black and white this game is? Uh, I'm colorblind. And red. The, the, and the health red. has and a red. white. I just the said I'm colorblind. <laughs> I can't see the red. The, the health has a white outline. You should be able to see. Oh, that. that's okay. That's what he did to me. He did do that move. He just did it at the table where he couldn't get past the table. Mm. He 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 has it table moves. <laughs> what a good pupper. Not coming to fire. Yeah. That's why we're beating him with a stick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it looks like he's a wolf, and he's wearing wolf pelts. Uh, I think... Oh, that I is true. That's what it looks like. Look, this he's dude just trying to really away. likes... He yeah. really likes Princess Mononoke. I was gonna say, like, this this entire boss fight is him either running away, and then when you do get to him, he'll fight you for a bit, and then he'll run away again. But if yeah, you get so him you here, get him. he's kind of stuck. He's stuck. He can't run. He's got limited AI movements. Fun fact, uh, Shamans is voiced by Fred Tatsukor, a.k.a. Uh, the Hulk in pretty much everything. Oh, I love this finisher. <sighs> Again. 
Fred Tatascore, aka like if you need a guy to scream in your cartoon, you get that's him. him. Yep, that's he's the guy. Hello, this if, you, if, if you want Frank Welker, but he's too expensive, you get him. Also, yeah, that's awesome. Is I think it's like the only I think it's like one of the two times he uses the motorcycle for the finisher. Yeah. If you can just keep going forever. And then, just, his body. and then you leave blood trail. What do you make of the <sighs> You know I can't read, you bastard. I know. I just like rubbing your nose in it. <laughs> uh, I love <sighs> Again. so much. I just need to listen. Yeah, I just want to listen to like just their audio. I need to find the YouTube video just to listen to their dialogue. Ju only that. Because I think they're literally they're like the equivalent of the PA announcement. Uh, uh, Yo, there's Frankie. For I hate Frank so much. I yeah, saw the words the man juice on the screen. Those are <laughs> words. Oh, we'll we'll get into mad man juice in the second part. Man so. juice. Oh yeah, but this is this is where we get a bit more. Oh yeah, this is where we see him eat the onion. Yeah, this is the area I hate. Yeah, I I really don't like this area because it's so hard to get around everything. Oh, he does just eat onions. Yeah, because that's one that's the full health item in this game is the onion. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you take. He, he, he has layers. I wouldn't. Yeah. But this is where we get a bit more Lordo about the whole island. But the mayor wasn't there. Yeah, because there, there, yeah, because there's like a whole thing where it's kind of like Escape from New Yorkish, where he's like he's going in looking for someone. He's looking for the mayor. He's looking for the daughter. But then, spoiler alert: when he goes up to her, it's like, oh, she's involved in all of this as well. And so he's like, yeah, fuck it. Now why you keep dropping these the spoilers? I'm trying to enjoy the game's story here. I mean, you do find out, I think, I was in it here where you, or the next area where you find out that they built this area ahead of time. I guess we'll know for sure. But yeah, like, I, I, I think you, I think you find out in like a later part. It's like not in the next part. That was a perfectly good idea. Oh, but here, here's where we, this is where we learn about like the whole, re about the helicopter thing. They're, they want to know about Jack. He's up for one million dollars. Yeah, because originally it was the whole thing of like, oh, Agent 13 was sponsoring him so he can go around and like do all this stuff. But then Jack just kept doing more and more because he just doesn't give a shit. And he like has his own agenda. So now they're like, fuck it. Everybody go after him. Well, see, you just see the number like uh, a million there, which makes yeah. you think it's a million dollars. But it's actually a million yen. So it's only like a solid thousand bucks. No, they, they do say a dollars by the end of this. Well, in this, but I mean, like, if this was, like, I mean, like, if, if, if this was in Japan, then, I mean, they, 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 there's, there's no dollar sign. Uh, they, yeah, they, that's... They could well, just I mean, say a million and then come in and be like, haha, it's just yen, fuck you. I mean, they probably would. I think they probably do say dollars in Japan, too, because, again, this I think they do state that this is in America. I think. Yeah, this is in, yeah, this is in America. So, even it, so, no wonder why the game sold poorly in Japan. It was too focused in America. Oh, yeah, and there's I just the say, like... The my favorite aesthetic for any video game ever is America as seen through the eyes of Japan, because it is Bogard. always so like Terry Bogard or like uh, Sakura Wars Five takes place in New York and it like in the first five minutes there's a cowboy stopping a bank robbery and <laughs> you hear about how like the Statue of Liberty is amazing and there's hamburgers and I love it. It's the best. It is. My favorite everything. I mean, I mean, Japan loves burgers, at least. Isn't isn't like isn't like JoJo basically uh, we put on uh, just uh, Japan? It, it's like Japan. It's like J America through the eyes of Japan, through the eyes of America, and then through back to Japan. It's like this weird kind of yeah. inner circle where it's like it's 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 like America culture mixed with a Japanese style, but then. Regurgitated back onto each other. It's it's this it, weird, freaky. It's kind of like the whole point of a uh, a Rocky takes a lot of influence from America. Even though at this point, I think it you I think it used to be a Rocky takes influence from America, but now at this point, I think it's America takes influence from a Rocky's writing. Because how many freaking times do I see that on Twitter? Someone pointing out. Hey, look, they're doing the JoJo walk thing, and I'm like, oh my goodness. And hey, if you want to have a real good time, look up the d comic Diesel. Oh boy, that's a good American JoJo. Diesel by Tyson Hess? Not that one. Oh, damn it. <laughs> that's the only Diesel I know. First, I gotta find out what this Diesel is. I okay, I, I, I have it right here. I need to show you. It is it is the absolute best. 
right here. Oh shit. S to the E to the R to the V to the I to the V to the A to the L. 